Back he goes. Into the end zone he goes. C.J. Donaldson. His second career rushing touchdown in his young career. No, I think they got it right as the snap of the football. Put a great job by the offensive line to get pushed at the point of attack. Luke Grimm. West Virginia knew it was coming. Met him right away. Marcus Floyd. I just don't like throwing the ball, you know, when you've got one yard to gain. You know, you're throwing the ball behind the line of scrimmage. The defenders are getting up the field because they see the pass early. Time to go back to work here on second down. Play action over the top to Mason Fairchild. KU TD. Everyone getting caught looking at the backfield. You see the jet actions, jet sweep action. You see him fake the ball. He saw the defenders react to that. He pulled the ball out and was able to just toss the ball over to Fairchild. West Virginia's rushed for 40 yards. Toss out to Bryce Ford Wheaton. Uh oh. Uh oh. Bryce Ford Wheaton. Touchdown for the veteran. 67 yards, another explosive play. Take a poor angle when you've got a speed guy like Ford Wheaton on the outside. Great job by Ford Wheaton breaking tackles. And once he gets to the open, catch me if you can, and nobody could. Oh, Jalen Daniels has it. Jalen Daniels still going, dancing down the sideline and steps out of bounds. Jalen Daniels, he's able to get to the outside. He's able to plant that foot and get north and south. And once he does, he becomes a running back. He runs the ball like a running back. It was direct snap to Devin Neal. He bobbled it and found his way in anyway. It's one of those wrinkles. We talked about it. You see the defense reacting to what Jalen Daniels is doing. They did not pay attention to Devin Neal. He was able to gather. That's what you want to do. You want to make sure your quarterback is able to do everything and is comfortable doing everything you want him to do. Looks pretty comfortable there as he completes his 12th pass of the game to Caden Prather for a first down. Looking over the top, guess who? Bryce Ford Wheaton make it two touchdowns. Daniels quick to let it fly to Devin Neal. Touchdown, KU. Nobody went with the running back. The running back didn't block. I guess the defender thought he was going to get blocked. And you see Daniel step to the side, sidestep both pass rushers, and the running back goes straight up. Of West Virginia. Dropping back, airing it out. Quentin Skinner. Beautiful connection. And he catches it inside the five. To Quentin Skinner. Well, you see the play action right there, which freezes the linebackers, and he sees Skinner out there with man coverage, and that's going to continue to be a problem for West Virginia. Well, you get 40 yards on the play, and you get an easy score from Daniel Hyshaw. The inside, but watch the defense. I don't like the body language on that play. Well, it's for the second time today. Kansas is going to punt. They will not take the time to look at the spot. They move on, and maybe that's exactly what Neil Brown wanted to see out of his defense. Oh, no. But not that. It bounced off of Reese Smith into KU's hands, and it's KU football. Kansas player ran right by the West Virginia player. Just bounced off of Reese Smith's hands. Again, it is raining, so that ball is wet. But still, I mean, that's what you wanted from your defense to get the stop, but not what you wanted for special teams. If you're Kansas, you've got to take advantage of that, right? You I'm absolutely have to take advantage. Devin Neal 
twisting, turning into the end zone, Devin Neal. And Kansas has the lead. JT Daniels and the West Virginia offense back on the field. A shot deep down the field to Sam James. To the 44-yard line. 27-yard attempt. And it is up and it is good. So it's not the touchdown they had hoped for, but they will take the three points. You don't want your back end defenders to be leading your team in tackles. And that's where they feel like their strength is too, in the front. A deep shot to Luke Graham, and he goes up and high points the football. He throws it out there, and he say, tells his receiver, go get it. Go make a play for me. And you see Graham make a play. He turns around, locates the football, gets up and high points the football, a wet ball, brings it close to his body. Oh, Daniel Hyshaw just by himself taking what he wants into the end zone. A 30-yard scamper for Daniel Hyshaw. 111. You've got to defend every blade of grass. And you see what Kansas is doing. They're doing a lot of misdirection. They're getting their fits with their offensive line. They need three yards. Daniel steps up in the pocket. Caden Prather got him. Steps out around the 20-yard line. Connection complete. Bryce Ford Wheaton with his 10th catch in this game. And Kansas brought pressure, and you, when you bring pressure, you get one-on-one -on -one coverage, and you see JT Daniels is able to find. And a little chip shot in. But since he made the football move, he yes. was not defensive. And had possession. Yes. Pass batted up into the air and still caught by Caden Prather. A circus catch. Kept his eyes on the football and scooped it in. They're going to let him keep it. He throws over the top and the receiver goes up to make this grab. Quinton Skinner in the end zone for Kansas. Third and five. West Virginia needs a touchdown. Interception. Kobe Bryant. The interception to seal it for Kansas. How much improved they are from last season. Their first Big 12 opener win since 2009. And it is Kobe Bryant sealing it with the interception. And you see Coach Brown right now disappointed. He talked about it at halftime. They needed to tackle better. They needed to. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.